Hello everyone, this is the Barotz DOS virus. This is from my Swiss Next San Francisco presentation. Uh, this is one of the two that I did live, and I'll be taking a look at it now, just a little more in-depth. Now this virus infects .com files. So as we run it, it becomes present in memory. And if we look at our old favorite, graphics.com, not grr, graphics.com, see it's 19,742 bytes. Upon running it, Barotz will infect it, and the file size increases. We'll see the same thing with other .com files like sys. becomes infected and now will trigger the payload, which happens on January 5th of any year. And we'll go ahead and restart. And uh, while we're restarting, uh, this is actually a new monitor that I got. A new CRT. It's actually from 1997 or 8, I believe. And unfortunately, I was hoping I could change the refresh rate, and I can. And it looks really good in Windows 95 at 60 hertz on this camera. However, on um, DOS, DOS is stuck at 70 hertz, and that's what causes the flickering. So if anybody has any ideas on somehow forcing DOS to run at 60 hertz, uh, can't do it through software. I've looked at a few utilities that are supposed to change the refresh rate, but they don't work. So if you have any ideas, like on the hardware level, changing how DOS operates, that would be great. So we're going to go to DOS, we're going to run one of our infected files, and we'll see the payload. There we go, it took a little bit. Now we have colored bars pulsating on the screen. This appears over everything, even directory listings. If we try to run programs, well, edit crashes and doesn't quite work. It outputs a bunch of garbage text. Changing directories, trying to clear the screen doesn't work. You're stuck with these colored bars over everything. Let's see, what other graphical programs do we have? I think there's a scan disk. All right, it uh, it didn't like that. Scan it doesn't like scan disk. So as you can see, it becomes pretty unstable when the virus is active with its payload, and that beeping is pretty annoying. So I'm just going to end the video here. That's about it for the Broads DOS virus. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas on fixing the CRT issue, let me know in the comments. All right, later.